Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 60 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> We're back down here in the, I don't know what you would call it, the uh, objectives room. I guess we did up a little bit. Check it out. It looks a lot nicer. Uh, I want to make this a little bit more official. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been getting some really good comments, so I wanted to thank everybody who's been leaving me comments. Jake Moe, Don Sanity, Velocit, Stack UK, Jack the Ripper. I've been going through my comments all morning. There, I don't know. I have my, my notifications turned on for the comments, and I get most of them, but... I don't get all of them. Oh, here is Skeleton. Uh, but I don't get all of them. I was going back through them, and there are the comments that I had from months ago from my Ocean Block series that I never even saw. But I was like, no! <laughs> um, so anyway, I do have stuff. I don't I, I want to do, um, let's see, Jake left a comment about the name tag. We got, uh, we got my kitty name, she's Sheba now. Uh, they also left uh, a comment about the advanced black furnace and the fluid pump on how to get those things automated. And uh, something cool that uh, I want to look into some more is, um, uh, Using the R's row on the course of the ritual to <laughs> serve on bone meal. Although, I mean, it's the thought that, that counts. Uh, I have, like, pretty much unlimited bone meal with the mob farm, but I, I always love a good way to, you know, conserve materials and, and make things more efficient, you know. Non-sanity left comment about making the, a tank for the cream soap. And, yeah, I made that, and it's it's over there now, waiting for the pump to pump the stuff out of the cold coke oven. And I did get my builder set to solid, and it's working a lot better now. <laughs> and Velocit uh, left several comments, and one was about me being a powerful wizard. Of course, that's true. Uh, I'm becoming more powerful all the time. Uh-oh. Um, I do have my mini-map turned off because uh, there are some useful tooltips in that upper left-hand corner. So, let's see. About turning that back on. All right. Let me see. Did I ever turn those off? I never did turn those off. I need to go back over there. Because um, every time I try to do the claim chunks, it's only centered around me and I can't. <laughs> I can't scroll over uh, to get over there and deal with it. Because every time I do, I just bloop, uh, claim a bunch of chunks that I don't want to do. Yeah. Oh, I have been so busy. Let's go check this stuff out. Also, I noticed I had four pure daisies, and I guess I've had explosions or mobs destroying them over here, because I only have two now, and, and that makes me sad. But I guess, you know, I can't get a lot of white flowers now if I really need to. Oh, boy. I have done a lot of base improvement around here. Uh, I upgraded all of these chests to diamonds and these two uh, because these are the ones I moved the most. I had to actually put in a little subsystem down here for uh, 
all of the redstone and charcoal and lapis because it was getting full. Look at that. I got 2.7 thousand lapis, 1.6 thousand redstone, and 1.9 thousand coal. Coal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but I did put upgrades on these three. The other four, I didn't really, I guess I could have just left those in there. But I didn't. And my cobblestone is completely full, and I had to put a void upgrade on it. Uh, yeah. And let's see. I, I added a second pulverizer. Uh, to the system and I just added a large chest on top. I had to like break it and turn it. Uh, I think I had like a, a bigger chest but it was uh, like an iron chest or something so I had to get a normal chest to replace it with. And then I just did the same thing over here to help get uh, the flint in there and then just did a double chest on this side for the output because this guy pull anything from it or he just puts he puts the zinc into the chest he doesn't actually pull out this guy pulls out uh, and the one furnace seems to be keeping up just fine with the two pulverizers uh, I did upgrade these to resonant components, and I got uh, all three auxiliary processing sieves. Uh, I don't know if it is doing good on giving me more ores or anything, but I guess it, it isn't really hurting. And I'm since I put in the second pulverizer, this is staying on up. Uh, Cool. Um, I did get resonant components for uh, the dynamos, and I put an expanded tank construction there. I also made the no, it was it was another upgrade that I thought would be useful, but I couldn't put it in there, and it was the one to increase the the output so right now it's doing 160 RF a tick but I really wanted that uh, let me see if that will bring it up it was I thought it was one of these it was four four times they expanded RF oil I could not put the RF oil in there uh, because it would have been better to have that instead of the tank construction because this also gives four time capacity. Oh, or is that the RF capacity? That might be the RF capacity, but I couldn't put it in there. So I was very sad. Uh, so I got what I could on there on all three of those. And I also um, upgraded all of these machines in here. The pulverizer and the furnace also got speed upgrades. So those will be really fast whenever I need them. Uh, and I gave speed upgrades for uh, induction smelter because I had to do I had to actually do a lot of alloy creation just to get to the resonant components and I upgraded the multi servo press too. I also got these two machines ready the fluid encapsulator and the magma crucible. I accidentally made the magma crucible but uh, I don't know that it's needed for the progression now through thermal uh, series uh, because that that was how you used to be able to make the resonant ender alloy and such. So I don't know what 
these are four now. Because I was able to make all of the alloys that I needed right here in the induction center. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. As well as I got these things ready that I, I definitely want to get this guy done. This is the pump uh, that's going to be automating the Coke oven. Oh, and I got under pressure. What is that? Practical and pump. I wish it would take you to the achievement stage for that when you click on it, but it doesn't. Uh, so we can go set that up too. And I have also been working very hard getting all of these set up. I upgraded all of the chests to at least iron. And this was uh, a diamond mm -hmm. test, but I think that was the one that I had down in this, the processing unit. <laughs> uh, but I put it up here so I could at least use it. Uh, it's empty right now. I haven't got that set up uh, to do anything just yet because I haven't got to it. Uh, but I got all kinds of mod-based chests up here that I now have hooked up. Uh, to my main chest. So it should sort out all of the different mods that I have set up for this. And I should be able to come up here and look through all the chests and find what I'm looking for. A lot easier. Uh, I do probably need to upgrade this chest to diamond because there is uh, a lot of stuff in here. Either that or I could see if there's a block form of this. Uh, I got two um, tables. Oh yeah. There we go. And let's make sure okay, yeah, we can break it back down. So that's always good. Oh, that is a cool looking block. I really love that color. <coughs> that should that should help. And I can get the sulfur. I wonder if the sulfur Oh look. It can be made too. That is pretty cool. It's like gold. <coughs> oh, oh wait. I can do this now. <laughs> and it showed back up. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, here's the expanded RF coils that I can use. Uh, so anything that goes into the system now goes through all of those mods. And anything, my, my chest over here is much cleaner now. I love it. Um, Awesome. So we can take uh, my flux linkage amplifier off. And we can take off these fluid encapsulators. And let's see, what we're, oh, we, we can take away the fluid pump because we did that. The ocular is going to take a little bit to get to. I need to do, I think I only have like one ingot of the sky. So I'd have to do that ritual again, uh, which isn't a thing because I think I got another spirit of falling. Uh, but it also needed this rose of oblivion. Uh, it takes our other environmental eye, but I have no idea what the rose of oblivion is. So we might have to look into... Book, book of Natural Aura. Uh, I wish, is there like a way to search for it? This introduction, Natural Practices, I don't think that would be in there. Harnessing Aura, Creating Aura, or in Balance, Natural Items, and Devices. 
maybe it would be in a harnessing the aura because it's a way to help you see the aura. Creating aura. Yeah, I don't. Natural storage? That sounds interesting. Um, aha! And here's one on the environmental eye. Does this one tell you of, that's just the regular environmental eye. Okay, so maybe it's in this list. It's not. It must be locked then. It must be in one of the locked things. Uh, maybe we should look at botanist tools. Maybe it'll be under that. Using the inherent powers of the case fire. One can produce tools that not only have similar properties to its base material iron, but also have additional features that one wouldn't quite expect. The following pages will display how to create their tools and how to use their special features. On top of that, when taking an aura cachet with you, the tools will be able to use the aura that it is stored to regenerate their durability, significantly increasing their lifespan. For this, one simply needs to hold still and sneak, and the tool in one's hand will slowly recharge. That is kind of cool. I mean, Britannia stuff just does that automatically. It just uses your mana. Uh, but since you have to actually interact with it to get it to, to regen, uh, the botanist pickaxe, when interacted with a block, will turn it into its mossy variation, provided that it has one. That is really super cool. Uh, I wonder if you have to break the block, or if you just can, like, right click on it. That would be interesting to see, because, uh, yeah, I want to see that one. The botanist hand axe is quite a bit better at removing leaves, doing so much faster than regular tools. Um, that's kind of cool, but we have fast leaf decay, so it's not like a huge thing. Uh, the botanist shovel has the ability to make grass grow on fallow land through simple interaction, along with making broader paths on the grass. Ooh! I like these. That sounds, that sounds pretty cool. The botanist hoe helps a farmer obtain different kinds of seeds in the ways of old by simply being used on a piece of grass or dirt. Huh. Oh, maybe that's a way you can get the saplings. Uh, no, that would be interesting. And the botanist blade is a good way of dealing with monsters. It will cause any mob you hit to be slowed down for a couple of seconds, making them an easier target. That is pretty cool. Um, I guess we want to try out that pick. That sounds like a, a good time. Because uh, otherwise you've got to, like, make a mossy, I mean, a, a vine farm. Dark out that I can't see. Raining. So I want to go make that pick and see how that works. It shouldn't be, like, it's just a couple of the iron. I might actually have some of it already made up. I don't, but I can make it. I think I might have to take, uh, oh, yeah, I do have another spirit falling. So we can make our get of the sky. 
Although I don't know, I don't really know how to get that other flower. So I don't know how to do that. All right, B and. Okay, because I don't know if that will interfere with it. Oh, now it's getting dark. Ah! What the... I think I kind of went into the tree or something. I want to see this pick. That's just crazy stuff. Oh, I can use that. I need to do V. And oh, I gotta have a bowl of sticks. At least I think that's normal sticks. No. Uh oh. Could be in trouble here. Uh -oh. This, oh, ancient wood rods. Okay, well, we have ancient wood. We have that too. Um, ancient planks. That. Oh, you only get two planks. Um, Oh, we gotta have two slabs. Okay, so we need. There we go. There we go. Now we can make it. The botanist pickaxe. What? Okay, um, I guess we can just throw down some bubble. Uh, that didn't turn. You right click it. Oh, that is good. Although it looks like this takes. Uh oh. This takes a lot of durability in plots. How did it say you recharge it? Although I don't have any aura. I don't have aura with me. Uh, how did it say? Uh, oh, you have to hold still and sneak. I wonder uh, uh, how long it takes. Maybe I can't even look around. I don't know. I'm holding shift down, and I'm looking at my pickaxe, but then I don't see it going up, so, but I can't tell. It might be going up just really, really slowly, uh, so I'll have to, I'll have to definitely look into that. It's at 169. I wonder if I have to click this having the shield in mess it up. Well, it didn't go up, so but it is definitely a cool toy. Let me put this back over here so I don't lose it. Uh but one thing I definitely have been wasting all my time on this stuff. Uh, I want to get 
this guy, the glistic grow because I want to twiddle around with trying to get some form of like, uh, what? I have a block missing here. It's that. Um, to automate our little block here. I think if I dug out underneath, uh, I could put like a no wait, I don't know if it I need it to bone meal the block off of this. I don't know if that will work. Uh I might have to play around with that and see what I can do if I can actually bone meal it without interfering with like the, the powder that has to go around here <laughs> uh, which I need to to like mark it out that was one of the comments that was left is to change these blocks to a different block uh, so that it's easier to figure out where the powder needs to go when you do doing the ritual. So I can change this into something other than cobble later, but just for now, uh, that is what we would be looking at right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know how I could get that done. Because if I put, like, the bell fluid here, I don't think it would go through the block to hit the... Maybe I could put it over here. And, and like have a uh, pressure plate or something or a button to push that will cause the turret to shoot at the, the, the sapling and make it grow. <laughs> that would be really cool. Uh, so I don't know that going underground would, would work. So that base. I will try to play around with it and figure something out, though. But first, we have to go get the glyph. I haven't done a glyph in a long time. What does this take? Oh, it just takes bone blocks, seeds, and an earth essence. Uh, that's no issue. Five bone blocks. I think that's just bone meal. Bones. So let's see if we can get no problem. And then the three seeds. Oh, I used to be able to tell which one was the seeds because it was the only one that was diamond. So <laughs> now I gotta look. Um, I think this will take every seed, but I'm gonna. Do that just to be sure. Get those away. Uh, I'll leave that out. I need to do stuff. Uh, and our essence is over there already. I sure do want to get this thing sorted out. I kind of stalled out when I didn't have the the, the blocks that I wanted to, to use for it. Now that I have those ancient. Uh, Saplings, I really want to try those blocks out and see how it goes. Yum, oh. Oh, this is a glyph. Uh, I need to take this guy off. Smell <laughs> parchment. Uh, we need to go in here, and it's the one that looks like a flower. Is it? There it is. Row. 
select. Oh, it takes levels. That's right. How many how many levels does it take? Well, it requires five. I completely forgot. Oh my gracious! Now I got to go all the way down. Let me get my traveler staff up. I got to go all the way down just to get some experience. Oh. As soon as I can, been down there. Okay, um, let's see, I can just turn this guy on. The only bad thing about this setup is the absorption hopper picks it right back up. So you only get about half the experience. Okay, that should, that should be good. Get out of there. Oh no, it's getting dark again. <laughs> I know kitty. Okay, now let's do this. Oh, it's been so long since I made a glyph, I forgot all about them. But there are just so many things I want to do, but I really do need to get all of these glyphs made. <laughs> all right, let's do the thing. We know where Grow is now. Yes. And it pulled in the essence, so we can just throw this stuff in there and be really lazy and watch the show. <laughs> nice. I love it. Oh, yeah. Um, so I think I can do this with the turret. I do. I don't <laughs> think I could do it. Do I have? Did it not use? Did it use some <laughs> other seed? Oh, my God. Oh, I think I had a seed over here. I hope it wasn't. An important seed. I need to move that away. Three, oh, I got more Freak Me and Whirly Spring shards. Uh, unfortunately, no more Starbuckle shards. I would definitely like to have those. Um, I do need to look into the Drig Me. I want to set up a Drig Me to take care of my animals. Uh, so I might look into doing that in between episodes because I'm, I'm running out of time. It's already been time <laughs> and I haven't done anything. I feel like I haven't done anything. Oh, look, we got three more Whirly Spring charms. I can set that up and get the tree farm going. I have an idea for a place to put a tree farm. Um, it's like right over there. I'll show you. It's kind of where I've been chopping down all my trees. I think it's a big enough area uh, to put a good sized tree farm over there and have a lot of different trees for the grid. It's just like right here. I think if I cleared away all this brush and stuff, I can create a nice little area for the grid. And he won't even mind that it's not level <laughs> and stuff. I think he'll be okay with it. And I could set this up and, and have him go in it and getting me wood because all the wood I get, I have to do manually, although it's really super easy uh, with the bell. <laughs> One shot and done. Uh, and so, I mean, it's not too bad, and I can get a lot of wood very quickly, uh, but not having to, to do anything at all is better than having to do it myself. So, 
probably going to try and set that, something like that up in between episodes or I think I haven't actually done, oh, I've done it. This would be for a whirly sprig, not a trigme. Uh, the trigme does the animals. Uh, and I, I haven't really decided where I would want to put a trigme at. I have to make more charcoal, especially since I've got uh, the cold coke oven in there and immersive engineering. I need charcoal to make steel, which that has been going super fantastic. It's just been over there. I, I ran out of charcoal, <laughs> so I was doing stuff. Uh, It's, it's stalled out, it's got a whole bunch of steel in there, but I could make more if I had the charcoal. So I'm going to toss some more charcoal in there. <laughs> um, I might try to set up some form of auto charcoal thing uh, once I get that tree farm set up and see what kind of, what kind of numbers I'm looking at and getting wood. Because if it's just a, a teeny tiny small amount, I might uh, I might not worry about it. I would just let it get the wood. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have to call the episode here. Uh, I will definitely do a lot of uh, Probably, I'll probably set up the Whirly Sprig over here. I already know how how big it needs. I just need 10 blocks on each side. Oh, and it was pretty cool how you set it up. You have to, like, place down a flower, any flower. I don't know if that would work. And then you right-click your Whirly Sprig bar, uh, charm onto the flower, and it turns the flower into special flower. <laughs> I guess you, you don't really want to break that. And then if you if you put a chest next to the flower, they uh, they will deposit into the chest. So this is the Whirly Sprig Blossom. I don't know what... I don't know what the brightness of that is. We should not be like that. So that might be something to do with their happiness. Uh, wow. Yeah, maybe the more happy they are, the brighter that uh, blossom is. That's kind of cool. Where is our little guy? He's over here. Ah, there you are. You can't see him through all the grass. I might have to put some path blocks down here just to keep him from <laughs> turning everything into grass. He crazy little whirly sprig. I want to heal him, so I might try and see if I can heal, uh, get that heal spell. I get rid of that one. I think it's uh, this one, with the heal. I don't know if I can be doing, but that would be kind of cool to find out. Oh, it takes a golden apple? Lots of gold. All right, I might look into that because I don't know. That hurt from the one of the plants, and I took the plants away, but he hasn't regained any of his health. Uh, but if they die, they drop the charm, so... So, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.